Accountants, are you ready to take your Excel skills to the next level? Whether you're creating work papers, performing audits, or building efficient work products, mastering Excel is a key to saving time and delivering results. Welcome to our brand new series, Excel for Accountants. In today's video, we'll cover five essential tips and shortcuts, including hotkeys, text to columns, adding and centering data, and removing grid lines. My goal is to help you work smarter, not harder, by teaching shortcuts and functions that make your work more efficient and your output more professional. So grab your coffee and your laptop, get rid of your mouse, and let's get started. All right, we are now diving into this. We're, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add columns and rows to this work paper. If you guys can see here, I don't really like the way this work paper looks just to start off with. And then a lot of times you're gonna be receiving work papers from your clients that look like this. So you wanna make sure you're able to analyze the data. You wanna make sure you're able to look at it, analyze it and do, and do whatever it is you need to do with it, whether it's audit work to whatever it is, test work. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add columns to this. So that add columns we're gonna add the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do control space bar what control space bar does it highlights it highlights the entire column again control space bar that and then the easiest way I remember I, I remembered this was think of columns as like kind of short and stubby so control the control bar the control uh, key is really short and stubby so controls if you hold control and you hit space bar it highlights the entire column and what we're gonna do then, control space bar, and to add columns, you're telling Excel, okay, I highlight this entire column, you're gonna hit control shift plus to add a column. So all you're gonna do again, control shift plus, and if you hit that as many times, you essentially are adding columns. Let's go ahead and control Z to reverse what we just did. And we're gonna, I want to, I'm gonna add two columns. So all we did again, let's do that again, control shift space bar to add columns in a, to add columns in the workbook. Now we're gonna do, now we're gonna add rows. Since I don't really like when data is at the top, top left, I don't, I, again, I don't like it. It's personal preference, but I typically like being able to analyze my data. So now I'm gonna add rows to the spreadsheet. So to add rows, now think long and skinny. Rows are kind of like more long and skinny. So shift, space bar that highlights the entire row especially when you're you'll see when you're like doing live presentations at work or you're doing certain things with excel you want to be able to just maneuver through and highlight certain things like let's say for example i don't know they wanted to know about alice uh alice brown you can typically just go alice brown she had you know eighty six thousand of sales for the month or whatever it may be it's just really easy and it's it's a really good hotkey for you to start learning how to how to use that so again shift uh, i'm sorry shift space bar that's the in, uh, that's to highlight the entire row again long and skinny rows are long and skinny and columns are short and stubby so columns control space bar rows shift space bar so shift so now we're going to do the same thing to add rows you're going to do control shift plus control shift plus control shift plus if you want to subtract the row same thing shift space bar you're going to highlight the entire row and to remove rows you do control minus so control minus control minus but now we're going to do this a little faster control shift plus and i think it's fine if we keep the data in there for now now step two in the process now as you guys can see the data is all kind of screwed up i mean i don't really like the way it is it you can't really see it let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so the way i'm able to zoom in really quickly for you guys is alt w q and then tab gets me to how much zoom i want and since the purpose of the presentation usually i like to usually having my work papers or my work product at 100 but for the purpose of this uh video we're going to do alt wq tab and we're going to keep it at 160 just for you guys can more easily see what i'm doing but now since we have this data it's all messy right i mean all the columns are all screwed up and again this is for example but sometimes you're going to deal with data that has I don't know, 20 different columns and 50 different rows. So, but just so you, as long as you understand how to do the shortcut and how to analyze data, whether it's small data or a massive amount of data, it's the same process. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight the whole table because we wanna manipulate the data in Excel and we want to tell Excel, hey, I want to highlight the whole data because I wanna do certain things with it. So in order to do that, we're gonna do control shift, right arrow. That's essentially telling Excel, hey, wherever there's their data there's data go to the end point of that data so again control shift right arrow it goes to the end of the data set and then next thing we're going to do we're going to do control shift down arrow 
Now that we have the entire data set highlighted, we can kind of scroll down in Excel and make sure that our entire data set is highlighted. Again, if we can illustrate that one more time, control shift, right arrow, you're telling Excel, hey, hi, control shift essentially keeps uh, keeps the cell every, keep hi, highlights the cell in Excel. And if you do control shift, right arrow, you will tell Excel, hey, I want you to highlight all the data and get me to the end of the data set. So control shift, right arrow, control shift, down arrow. Now we have our highlight. Uh, now we're telling Excel, hey, we have our highlight around the whole Excel data table. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna auto fit column. It, we're gonna auto fit the columns just so we can see all of the data within within each uh, column and within each row. So to, to do that, the hockey for that is Alt H O I. And again, I'm gonna reverse that. And I'm gonna do that again. Alt gives you when you hit alt it gives you control of the entire keyboard on here so you can see that alt and we're doing alt h home if you see here i hit h home h o is the format if you can see here format o and then i is auto fit uh, auto fit column width i boom now we can see the all of the data within excel again let's do that one more time just for you guys alt gives you control of the entire keyboard on here h home oh shoot alt h now we're at home and then o is format so o format and then i will hit i auto column fit there we go perfect now we have now we can see all the data within our data set now that we can see all the data within our data set, as you guys can see, I typically like centering my data. I don't like when things are just all to the left. It just, I don't know, it looks a little messy to me. So what we're gonna do, again, just to highlight and illustrate this to so make sure you get comfortable with highlighting all, the, all of the data sets to be able to manipulate it. We're gonna do control shift right arrow, just like we did earlier, control shift down arrow to tell Excel what data we wanna manipulate. And then to center data, all you're gonna do is alt H, Again, Alt gives you control of the entire keyboard. Alt, H, and then AC is right here, center. So if you do that, center, you're gonna do AC, boom, perfect. And then we're gonna do that one more time. Alt, H, AC, and it's gonna center the data for us. Again, we let's do that one more time to illustrate it. Oh, so we're gonna do auto column, phone, uh, we're gonna do the auto fit column width. And then now to center the data, we did uh, control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow. You're gonna highlight the entire data set. You're gonna do alt H. Again, you have to control the entire keyboard, H. And then you wanna center the data, AC, AC. That just, again, you see how that kind of only made, it only did the first step. Now we're gonna do the second step to make sure we center it, alt H, AC again. Now we actually center the data. So as you can see, all our data is all our data is perfectly centered. Now that we have our data set the way we want it, it's nicely centered, it's spread out. We can see everything in each cell. Now we want to separate the salesperson. We want to separate it by first name and last name. As you guys can see, all the names are together: Jane Smith, I don't know, Laura White, uh, Emma Yellow. Like all these names are kind of in one cell, and we want to be able to manipulate them and separate them out. Again, this is only for example's sake, but you're gonna have have a lot of data in your career that's going to be all in one cell you want to be able to the text to columns function is going to be able to split out data in one cell and split it out into various different columns so that's what we're going to do now so again we're going to tell excel what data we want to manipulate control shift down arrow we're going to manipulate this whole thing but before we do that text to columns since we're going to create separate columns because we're going to split out the first name and last name let's add some columns in here and again from our from what we talked about earlier to add columns control spacebar it's going to highlight the entire column again the columns are short and stubby so control bar is short and stubby control space bar control shift plus and we're going to add a few columns in here because we're going to separate the data and we're going to need columns to put the date we're going to need columns in order to put the data the new data that we're going to split out of that one cell into so next thing we're going to do we're going to do control shift down arrow now we have the entire data set highlighted that we want to split out. Again, we want to split out first name and last name. Sometimes it can get a little bit more complicated, but for example sake, as long as you can do this, you can build upon the skill. So control shift, again, control shift down arrow. We're gonna do alt A data. E is text to columns, perfect. Now there's two functions within the text to columns, delimited or fixed width. If we do fixed width, let's do fixed width first, just for, just for example sake. So if we do fixed width, that's essentially saying, hey, 
if you put this if you put this line in here you're gonna split up this data but look if you do this here you're gonna make it maybe it might work for some names but some names are gonna come out really messy let's say for let's just do it for example just to show you guys and illustrate this let's say okay but you see this my, like Michael's name is screwed up uh, Chris green Chris green came out fine Sarah blue but some guys look at Bob J Bob J Onsen like his name is screwed up so we don't want to do that we want to be able to make this as easy as possible although sometimes you will be able to do uh, fixed width that usually sometimes will not work so again let's do it again alt a e text to columns and now we're gonna do we're gonna do delimited so now if you do delimited that's gonna pick up cer certain characters within the cell and I'll, I'll illustrate that so now for example we want to split it out every time there's a space so you're gonna tell Excel hey Excel I want to split out the I want to split up the data every time there's a space since this is an easy example of first name last name and in between every first name and last name there's a space we're gonna do that simply here you put space and look at how the data is now split up you can see this here that all and we meant we and you always want to make sure you analyze your data in here before you actually spit it up just to save time so now if you scroll down you look here beautiful look at that all our names are perfectly spit up and even our top our first our first row salesperson it's it actually picked it up and kept that so if we do next finish okay beautiful look at this now we have a beautiful data set everyone's first name is last name is split up let's do first name and last name last name beautiful and from earlier we're going to delete the columns we don't need so control space bar again control space bar think columns are short and stubby so control space bar highlights, highlights an entire column and you're going to do control minus to remove the columns you don't want control minus control minus now that we have a perfectly nice data set we're going to remove grid lines this is optional but in my personal opinion if i'm delivering a work product to a client if i'm delivering something finalized i don't like it to have grid lines it's just again it's me i like it to look aesthetic so to remove grid lines you're going to do alt again alt gives you power over the entire thing w which is view here w view and vg is grid lines if you see here vg grid lines vg and you're done you remove the grid lines again let's do that one more time just to illustrate it for you guys alt which gives you control of the entire keyboard w which is view and then vg grid lines right here vg and you remove all your grid lines we're going to add a bonus step in here since we are accountants and we like our work product to look like work papers everything should key thing in a, in a work paper and you guys know if you guys watch my other videos well the company name is cpa swag so cpa swag llc we are going to say this is what is this uh sales by a salesperson i don't know that's why sales by yeah salesperson and then this is going to be 12-31-2024. And then F7, uh, F7 key point again. F7 is just a shortcut for spell check. I always spell check my stuff. And then in order to make everything bold, let's just make these bold. It just makes it look a little nicer again. To make things bold, you're going to do Control B. That's the shortcut for making for making uh, certain text bold. Again, Control B. It makes it bold, and, and you unbold uh, the cell. So we're gonna make that bold and now we're gonna remove uh these rows just because i don't think uh we need them it just looks a little bit not as aesthetic control minus control minus now if you see here we have a perfectly set up data set there you have it these are essential tips to get started with excel for accountants from hotkeys to formatting tricks these tools will make you work faster easier and more polished this is just the beginning of our series in upcoming videos we'll cover pivot tables some some if and so much more so if you found this helpful give this video a thumbs up hit subscribe below and make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future accounting video and make sure to share it with your fellow accountants thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one